Hi all, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about proxy design pattern, which is comes under like structural design pattern. I have already shared complete videos on like creational design pattern. If you miss those videos, I'll put the link in description. So please go and watch. Now let's discuss about what is proxy design pattern. So before going to discuss about proxy design pattern, let's discuss what exactly proxy. So proxy is nothing but it's a it's basically uh, someone representing me like so authority to represent someone else like let's say I'm representing uh, like uh, someone else like let's say uh, PM Narendra Modi ji so uh, now I'm basically acting as a proxy so someone if you see in politics right this there is something like acting CM or acting government like or act, basically uh, proxy in the sense in authority to represent someone is called a proxy now let's see what exactly definition of proxy and also different types of proxy so proxy comes under behavioral design pattern you uh, lets you provide a substitute or a placeholder for another object so a proxy controls access to the original object uh, you will get to know what is what exactly control in the sense in in when we discuss about like uh, different ways of proxy allowing you to perform something either before or after the request gets through the original object which means like uh, uh, like when someone wants to access like original object so there is a crucial role which is played by proxy either of the after the request or before the request so uh, the of the request or, or before the request can be categorized as a different ways of proxy now let's see what exactly uh, there are three ways of proxy now we discuss about like remote proxy remote proxy in the name itself it said remote so our, our proxy which is there in our, our our network which is connecting to the remote so whenever client wants to uh, request to the real object which is there which is there over the network uh, so we so client uh, is not basically direct directly requesting to the real object so if you have a proxy in our address space now client request will go to the proxy and proxy will basically request to the real object and then the request whatever response comes to the, comes from the real object right it will stores in the proxy for the next client to serve so here proxy will act will basically acting as a middle person between the client and the real object so a remote proxy represent an object located in different address space such as a network server the proxy acts as a representative of the remote object and handles Communication. This is the most important one. Most important one handles communication between the local client and the remote object. Now let's discuss about what is virtual proxy. So virtual proxy is the pattern used to preserve memory from being allocated to an object. Let's say before going to discuss about the complete definition, right? Let's understand what is preserving memory, which means like uh, uh, there is a real object which is basically taking like a huge amount of memory uh, when basically during uh, request during response like while returning the response uh, to the user which means like that huge amount of object is basically loading at the client side so sometimes it is not necessary for the client uh, to see the complete object like if, if client is seeing complete object it may not be responsiveness depending upon the client uh, uh, client bandwidth to the internet or like uh, client response time might be increases because it, it, it should load the complete object, right? So which means that virtual proxy is basically acting as a lightweight to the original object, which is basically a uh, heavy, heavy memory intensive object like. So virtual, let's see the complete definition, you'll understand more. So virtual proxy de design pattern is used to preserve memory from being allocated, uh, allotted to an object that may not be used in the future like. Until the object is not used, a light copy of the object is created which means if someone exclusively wants to access the original object then only the original object will be provided and if not only light object will be shown like so that's exactly what is virtual proxy like now let's discuss virtual proxy through examples uh, so that you'll get better idea about what exactly virtual proxy um, let's take about example of like uh, let's say amazon like and also uh, for now let's take about amazon so we have a client so client is trying to access a uh, resources uh, resources like uh, these are like amazon resources over the cloud so this is a setup right so client basically tries to access the amazon resources over the cloud so there are like multiple images presented in the uh, amazon website like uh, so uh, let's say 
it can be it can be through serving through cdns or it can be serving through any any like what uh, whatever options amazon have but uh, let's say client uh, client wants to see the images like so for example there there might be some high resolution images and there might be some low resolution images if you uh, the best example we can see is like netflix if you watch the videos on netflix right there is like whenever someone uploads the video on netflix or or youtube in the sense um so what what exactly happen when someone uh, let, let's say we have a youtube someone tries to uh, upload something like uh, on onto youtube so what exactly will happen uh, so youtube will basically um first of all youtube will divide those videos into multiple chunks and from that multiple chunks each chunks they will uh, uh, they will the, youtube basically creates multiple videos again so this chunk let's say one video are divided into six different chunks so each chunk again it will divide it into like let's say five so it means re resolution is like let's say one kind one image can be like let's say 720 pixel image one, one image can be 4k one image can be 1080 one image can be uh, like 240 something which means what and also yeah further encoding will be happen like uh, multiple uh, formats also mp4 or like to, to support to mac os all those things but that is not uh, what we are discussing here the main goal is like image one single video and that to only one chunk is basically dividing into multiple resolution videos which means let's say i let's say when i was uh, streaming the youtube when i was watching the youtube video right which means it is, there is a possibility that uh, i cannot get the original object which is basically uh, 4k object it might it might not be possible whatever um, uh, whatever the person uploads the video i may not be see the exact pixel video i may, I, I may see the like 480 or 240 it will adjust it by youtube automatically depending upon the uh, my my bandwidth which means those are like basically proxies of uh, to the original object so whenever i um whenever i requested for the original object which means i i i want to see the 4k whenever i i, I selected that button in the settings tab right then only the original object will be loaded like otherwise it won't be loaded like so it will only are uh, served through proxy objects which basically called as low resolution objects like so that that is the one best example of uh, how images or video compression basically working uh, and also serving to the users so that is the one example let's take one more example so um you are basically viewing uh, amazon reviews so someone basically reviewed uh, someone basically reviewed something on amazon so you are you are viewing the reviews and ratings everything so if you observe something if you watch if you watch through uh, if you watch on mobile and if you watch on like uh, desktop there is like different uh, kind of variables will be presented uh, let's say if you watching in desktop right you will see full content you will see rating you will see image everything when you watching on desktop like or desktop or, or like laptop or thing but when you are watching on mobile which mobile is very small right like so which means you can only see the ratings and only one liner of the let's say description you won't see anything if you want to see you need to go there and you are externally asking the amazon to provide the original object so in the mobile you are seeing only the proxy object not the original object like whenever you ask the amazon it will provide the original object if you want to see the complete detail of detail of the review so these will basically categorize as the virtual proxies now see the definition um so creating objects on demand uh, like basically the main uh, the main idea of virtual proxy is like to preserve memory from being allocated to an object uh, it, it can be either through image video compression it can be either through like what we are viewing in the multiple uh, uh, resolution uh, multiple screens so and so so minimum required let's say an amazon use case and creating an object on demand let's say youtube use case so acts as a cache layer Uh, let's say um uh so you like let's say client uh, you are accessing something from amazon which means like an amazon has like multiple services right amazon is not a single 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 service so amazon has like n number of services so and and simultaneously amazon will basically talk to dbs also like multiple dbs which means there are no there are lot of network calls are being happening like every every request you made there are like n number of network calls happening so these are all like uh, located in the inside the cloud right uh, whereas uh, let's say when you try to access a request you first it will check whether the resource whatever customer is trying is present in, inside the memory or not which means 
something like uh, cache it will check okay uh, whatever customer is asking uh, is present it will check uh, whatever customer is asking is presented inside the cache or not which means uh, so we are maintaining a cache and also um, what you call uh, tables in sync so if something is presented in the cache so we straight away replying to the customer hey customer this is your uh, whatever I requested this is your response if, if it is not which means here we are preserving the extra network call because this this uh, uh, tables are like basically sits on disk uh, so which means like uh, you need to basically do the network call and also you need to find the exact dat data where actually stored in the disk and you need to get the data like which means like there's a lot of operations involved like say uh, if you store everything in the cache right you, you will save the lot of uh, seconds like lot of seconds as responsive time which is basically improves the user experience so that's exactly what actually we are saying is acts as a cache layer. So this is basically categorized as virtual proxy and this is a real object. So I think that's about virtual proxy. We will see the, we will see the examples like now let's discuss about like protection proxy. Protection proxy is like, let's say you're working in an organization. Uh, so this also we can illustrate for example. So which you, you understand better like, so let's say you are in an organization. Uh, so uh, you are working on a company laptop so this is basically company laptop and your organization basically uh, has some some basically some restrictions to access the uh, outside internet like so these are all like basically outside internet uh, uh, like uh, these are all basically different different outside uh, internet websites so you need to access all these outside internet websites so here what exactly will happen uh, so your company might return some kind of configurations Okay, uh, whenever a uh, person who are in my network, if it is if it is trying to access, let's say this we can call as like Google uh, and this we can call as like uTorrent and this we can call as like uh, some XYZ website. So which means, so there is a restriction uh, at, at your uh, uh, organization side, organization uh, side. So which means like, uh, so if someone accessing uTorrent, uh, let, let 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 me block like so we are, we are not allowing to access the uTorrent website so which means whenever you are trying to request the uTor uTorrent so every outgoing um, basically every outgoing uh, network will be basically monitored monitor basically this, this acts as like a kind of firewall so every outgoing will be monitored and if if it check if first it will check in the configuration let's say when you're trying to access first it will check in the configuration in this configuration uTorrent is present um, if it is uTorrent is present then straight away this request will be rejected it won't go but whenever you're trying for google then then it will check okay google is not there so let's uh, let's allow him allow him to request through google like so this is exactly protection proxy you are protecting your network or your organization from malicious content or malicious websites which are presented outside of your network like so that's exactly a uh, production proxy. So if an, if an application does not have access to some resources, th then such proxies will take to, to will talk to objects in an application that have access to that resource and then get the result back. So when we're accessing over internet for some websites, which are malicious are usually blocked in some malls and workspaces. Um, the, so these, these, we, these we basically call this production proxy. Let's see the examples of, of production proxy and virtual proxy. Now let's see virtual proxy. So I have already discussed the uh, like uh, diagrammatical example of like Amazon, right? Let's see the same example. Um, so uh, let's say you have a book. You're you're seeing all the books in an Amazon. So which means generally book contain name, uh, author is available and info. Info can be description everything, right? So let's see the original book. How the original book which is there in the database look like? So uh, original book has a name, original book has an author, original book has description, rating available. But if you observe here, what what do you think it's like heavy object, which means if you if you by mistake, if you include description also in the response, description can be very large, right? So it might not be very responsive when you are viewing description in the in the mobile. So this is original book. Whenever uh, someone is asking original book, you you can show. But whenever you're asking generally to see the book, you will hide this. You will hide the description. So uh, in the show info detail, in the show info, you are basically showing the complete information of the original book, right? 
let's say i have a proxy book also which also implements the book but in the show info i am not showing the complete book info i'm showing only name author is available or not i'm not showing uh, ra- i'm not showing rating i'm not showing uh, um, descriptions in anything i'm not showing anything i'm just showing only required information so this can be viewed by any any resolution screens uh, so but whenever customers wants to access the original book we are providing a function called click function if someone is clicking so he is basically uh, looking for original complete book information then we are calling the original book show info method which means proxy book has like uh, taking a constructor called book so we needs to pass the proxy we needs to pass the original book uh, as a constructor to the proxy book so we we'll generally show the show info of the proxy but someone wants to show the original book we will just simply call the uh, proxy book dot click so let's see the driver code you will understand even more better like so here in a driver right so you have an original book original book has a complete information with along with description also so uh, i am a fan of harry potter so i have included harry potter first chapter so i have a harry potter book so now i am proxying the harry potter book with my proxy object so i am proxying this book so now this is the proxy book uh you can even more clear uh like let, let's say you can mention proxy book so proxy book dot show info you are you are just showing only proxy info whenever someone tries to show the complete book you are basically uh, clicking on the proxy book right it will display the complete information like complete book information so this this click basically calls the original original object uh, uh, show info which has a complete two string information let's let's uh, write let's run the program you will understand even more better so if you see right so proxy book info is basically only harry potter jk rowling and available is true but uh, if someone is trying to click the book we are showing the complete original book which has like a description rating everything so that is a simple example of difference between proxy book and proxy uh, and like in a virtual proxy difference between the uh, light object and also original object like heavy object now let's discuss about what is protection proxy so i have already showed you like what is protection proxy through diagram right which means we are restricting which means we have some list is there uh, in an in an organization we are basically uh, whatever real internet uh, whatever request we are passing to real internet we are basically uh, proxying that we are basically uh, proxying that one the complete real internet and in the proxy internet uh, uh, we are checking right so these uh, urls are not presented we will just pass to the real internet otherwise we will straight away reject the particular request to forbid like 403 forbidden or night or depending upon the custom error configuration so let's see we have an internet is there uh, which will basically what internet will basically do it will connect it to the particular url whatever we provides so internet basically implements two things one is like real internet which is basically connecting to the service host one is like proxy internet here if you see uh, i have properties are there so i am basically restricting if someone tries to access the tamil rocker sto- uh, torrent websites xyz websites so these are basically malicious content websites i needs to block uh, if someone tries to access from my network so basically uh, so in my proxy internet i am basically proxying the internet object so i am checking first if ban sets are present if it is present i was throwing access denied if it is not i was calling the real internet object to connect it to the actual internet so if you see the driver program right initially i have a real internet object i was proxying this real internet object with the proxy internet now i have created the proxy internet object uh, when i was trying to connect to the google it will first basically checks the it will first it will first basically check uh, uh whether these whether whatever is there in the ban sets or not if it is there it will be basically accessed in it otherwise it will be connected to the real internet here so uh let's execute the program you will better understand so first one according to this program first one should be allowed and second one should be rejected see connected to the google.com successfully happened so and sec- access denied to xyz.com so this is exactly what production proxy is so proxy design pattern is like very easy design pattern and also uh, many people will use this proxy design pattern uh, in in companies or like in organizations so let's once go through this uh, video again if you didn't understand i uh, once go through this uh, uh, what you call like this md file you will understand even more better so i think uh, that's it for today's tutorial um, in the next video i will explain better the design pattern which is basically similar to proxy but there is uh, 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 quite changes of proxy design pattern 
so we'll soon meet with the decorated design pattern so if you like the video so please subscribe and share it to your friends i will try to complete all the design patterns very soon so for now bye bye